Hello, Apple Valley. This is Mr. Mons, the principal of Apple Valley High School. Hey, I'm gonna take this mask off here uh, because I'm speaking to you remotely right now. I'm the only one in the studio here. Uh, so just a quick reminder that that's really the only time that we can have our masks off when we're at school here this year. Uh, very different deal than usual, but this is what we gotta do to keep each other safe and make this school thing work. First thing I wanna do is to welcome each of you to the 2020-21 school year. I was very excited to welcome our staff back on Monday, August 31st. So we came together to finalize our plans for welcoming students back to school. This year is a little different, of course, but my excitement and optimism are no less. I can't say enough amazing things about our staff. I know they're up to this challenge of what this year will bring. And this week, September 8th through the 11th, is a transition week in many respects for our students and their parents. It's a time to get learning spaces prepared at home, materials gathered, and iPads charged. One of the most unique aspects of AVHS is our focus on a culture of building authentic relationships and helping others succeed. We take pride in the fact that our students feel valued and are known by adults. And by the end of this week, we're gonna have the chance to get to welcome and know over 500 of our incoming ninth graders and new students. We're excited to start the first day of classes in a hybrid model on Monday, September 14th. The doors to Apple Valley High School will be opened at 7.30 a.m. as students in cohort A begin to arrive. Let's take a look at the hybrid schedule to make sure everyone understands how this will work. Students in cohort A will arrive on Mondays and Thursdays by bus or personal transportation and attend in-person classes from 8 a.m. to 1.40 p.m. Students in cohort A will attend periods one through four on Mondays and attend their fifth hour advisory sixth and seventh hour classes on Thursdays. Each class will take place for 70 minutes before you're dismissed to go to your next class. Cohort A students will participate in distance learning on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Attendance will be taken as normal by your teacher on the days when you are in the building. Cohort A students will need to check in once per day using Infinite Campus student app on your distance learning days, which are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure that you attend and you click that app and the button within there between 7.30 and 3.30 p.m. Cohort B students will attend in-person classes from 8 a.m. to 1.40 p.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays. Similar to Cohort A students, you will attend your first through fourth hour classes on Tuesdays and your fifth hour advisory sixth and seventh hour classes on Fridays. Students in Cohort B will need to check in for attendance on the Infinite Campus app on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, which are your distance learning days. If you're not sure which cohort you're a part of, you can log into Infinite Campus to double check. Generally speaking, students with the last names A through K are in Cohort A, and students with the last names L through Z are in Cohort B. Students in the Digital Academy will participate in their schoolwork from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. on Mondays through Fridays. Your teachers are AVHS faculty, and they will provide you with similar learning activities and experiences as your classmates when you meet with them in the afternoon. You can contact your teachers through Schoology or email with questions during their office hours. Digital Academy students will meet for class during the week from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. through Zoom. Class days and times for Digital Academy students are broken up over the week with first and second hours taking place on Mondays, third and fourth hours on Tuesdays, fifth and sixth hours on Thursdays, and seventh hour and a makeup or time to check in taking place on Fridays. Whether you are in cohort A, B, or the AVHS Digital Academy, Wednesdays are primarily focused on providing interventions and enrichment. As we start out the year, Wednesdays are an important time to submit your attendance, check your grades, and connect with your teachers in the afternoons so you can stay on track with your academic, college, and career goals. All right, Eagles. Whether you're a returning senior or a first year student, I wanna encourage each of you to recognize that we are truly in this together this year. We're gonna need one another to make our school a special place where people feel connected, safe, and valued. Apple Valley High School has more academic, artistic, and athletic state championships than any other high school in the state of Minnesota. That culture of success isn't the result of individuals, but because a whole group of students, staff, and parents came together and helped to create the conditions where people could experience incredible success. We're counting on you to help continue this legacy this year and in the years to come. So, whether you're in class or in the halls or learning or helping out at home, 
Your number one job is to help others be successful. This whole thing depends on each of us doing our part to make it work and to make it through a tough situation. You'll find that AVHS is a place where people cross boundaries to make friendships that don't happen at a lot of other schools. We help each other out. We express gratitude and value the diverse experiences and interests that make Apple Valley a truly special place. You belong here, and we're thankful for what you're about to bring to our school community. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to our assistant principal, Mr. Biskins. Hello, Apple Valley High School. Welcome to the new Eagles and to the class of 2024, as well as all our returning Eagles. This is Pete Biskins, Apple Valley Assistant Principal for Student Services, and I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about the Student Services Office, what we do and who we are. Our counseling staff is made up of five people. Michelle Gustafson handles students with the last names that begin with the letters A through C. Mr. Don Perkins has students with the last names letters D through H E. Ms. Fogelin handles the students HF through MEK. Not sure if we have any HFs, but if we do, we are prepared. Ms. Schmidt takes care of our students with the last names of MEL through RU, R O O. And Ms. Perkins takes care of the rest of the alphabet, R O P, to the letter Z. Our front office staff is made up of two wonderful people, Miss Borman and Miss Gravem. If you want to come in and schedule an appointment, they will be sure to help you and to get you on your way. So they are a very important part of our team in the Student Services Office. So what do we do in the Student Services Office? Well, we like to think of ourselves as a team. We are here to help you succeed. Our motto is always, how can we help? Now, sometimes the answer may not be what you're looking for, but we will always do our best to make sure that we are putting you on a path towards success. We like to think that we have three major focuses in the Apple Valley High School Student Services Office. First off, we are your career and college support staff. Our goal is to provide you with knowledge, skills, and dispositions needed to be successful. And that's whether you choose to go on to college, be it four-year or two-year school, your career choice, your job, or your path in the military. Our goal is to help you to become a lifelong learner and do whatever it is you want to do when you leave the hallways of Apple Valley. We are also your academic support team. Our mission is to provide you with services, strategies, resources, and wonderful opportunities to help you succeed. Those opportunities always come in the classroom. They may come in the form of guest speakers. They may come in the form of field trips or having opportunities to go work in businesses. Whatever it is you're looking for, we hope to provide it for you. And finally, we are there for your personal and social support. You are important to us. Your emotional, psychological, social well-being are critical. We want to help you feel good so that you can have a successful school year, year after year at Apple Valley. So that's who we are in the Apple Valley Student Services Office. If you would like to schedule an appointment, with your counselor, get a pass from your teacher, come in before or after school, give us a phone call, send us an email. We will do our best to get you on the schedule and get you in as soon as possible. And we hope you have a great school year. Thank you everybody and go Eagles. Good morning, Eagles. My name is Mr. Tinder. I'm the administrator for students' last names L through Z. I'm located in the Student Support Office. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. It's a great day to be an Eagle. Hi, Apple Valley High School. So excited to see you all. I'm Miss Morin. I am the assistant administrator for last names A through K. I'm located in the Student Support Office. And any questions you may have, or you just want to connect and say hi, I am happy to see you. Welcome back, Apple Valley High School. This is Mr. Flugum. 
I'll be working with all students in the student support office this year and specifically focusing in on attendance. Welcome to the most amazing students in District 196. Bienvenidos a los mejores estudiantes del Distrito 196. My name is Alex Grande. My name is Alex Grande. Y mi trabajo es Student Service Specialist. And my job is Especialista de Estudiantes. Me pueden encontrar en la oficina de apoyo. You may find me in the Student Support Office. Welcome. I hope you have a wonderful year and I can't wait to see you in the hallways. Bienvenidos. Espero que tengan un maravilloso año y no, no puedo esperar en verlos en nuestros pasillos pronto. Hasta pronto. Hi again, Miss Morin here. I wanted to quickly talk about how to stay organized as we go into what will be a super interesting 2021 school year. So when we think about what school used to look like, right, Monday through Friday, you were here with every hour, we're gonna need to get a little bit creative. So I encourage you as you think about these classes and going into either cohort A, Monday and Thursday, cohort B, Tuesday and Friday or a distance academy that you really start thinking about your day as you would a typical high school student. So making sure you're getting good rest, waking up, having that breakfast, and then getting into the habit of starting school. So some things to think about with being organized, have a space that's really dedicated to where you're going to get schoolwork done. Because while you'll be here for two days a week, those other days you're gonna be home. So having space where you know um, where your iPad is and where your work is, is gonna be really important. I also think just thinking about your schedule and how you're going to complete that work, I would encourage you to think of your hours as first through seventh and get that work done in that order, that will help. Um, Schoology is going to be a really good friend of yours. Make sure you're logging in um, and checking out all of that. And again, if you're needing help getting organized, I would say teachers or even your assistant administrators are gonna be great support. So feel free to reach out to us. Um, good luck, you're gonna have a really great year. Welcome back Eagles. This is Mr. Flugum talking attendance. For students that are in Cohort A and Cohort B, teachers are instructed to take the in-person attendance every time you are in the building. For students that are in opposite cohort days and students that are learning digitally, the expectation is that you will sign into campus in the morning and log in, and once logged in, you'll be clicking the I'm here button that is provided in the campus app. Attendance will be taken every day and students will be notified if any time they have missed that day. If you are going to be gone for a day, your parents still need to call into the attendance office, letting the school know that you will be gone for a portion of the day or all of the day. We're excited to have you back in the building or online. Go Eagles. Welcome back everybody. I'm Virgil Jones, assistant principal and athletic director here at Apple Valley High School. My assistant, Mrs. Beckman, and I work on behalf of student athletes here at Apple Valley High School. There's a couple things I'd like to mention to you today. One being that sports activities are now available on My Payments Plus if you're interested in joining a sport activity this fall or this winter or potentially next spring. Signups are open generally for about six weeks if you're interested in doing some activity, I encourage all of you to try something new here at Apple Valley High School. We have a great athletic tradition and we never have enough student athletes. Safety is a huge thing this year with COVID-19. Please remember, if you're intending to attend any sporting events, please make sure that those events have fan access. And if they do have fan access, that you'll need a mask, at the very least, and also abide by the social distancing rules that have been in place all summer. At the end of the day, we'd like you all to be part of something special here at Apple Valley High School. So joining a sport is a great way to meet new friends and engage in the school culture here at school. So with that being said, go Eagles. Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Blatzheim and I'm the Arts and Activities Director here at Apple Valley. Just like Mr. Jones, I want to encourage you all to get involved. Apple Valley High School has a number of clubs and activities that you can be involved in before and after school. And these are great places to extend your learning and to meet new friends and to make wonderful memories. 
Talk to anybody about their high school experience and a lot of times what they remember fondly isn't just what they learned in their classes, but the things they did after school and the friends they made along the way. We have a lot of places where you can enrich your academic experiences. You can learn more in Science Olympiad or in Math Team or in our Rocket Club. You can be part of our nationally recognized speech and debate program. You could be in theater, choir, or band. You can be in lots of other service organizations like Student Council or National Honor Society. Getting involved in any one of these is a great way to enrich your Apple Valley High School experience. Now we know that all of these clubs are going to look a little bit different this year. Many of them will do their meetings virtually, some of them will be in person, some of them will be a hybrid. And it's really hard for me to say right now all of the different details that each club will follow and the plans that they'll put in place for the year. We're still working on developing those plans and they're going to be announced along the way. If you want to get involved in something, you're going to have to pay attention a little bit. Listen to the announcements if you're here in school, pay attention to the emails that go home and look at your Schoology messages because those will show you what the next steps that you need to take are to join any club or activity. And if you got any questions about joining a club or activity or if you want to start a student-led group because you have an interest in something and your friends do too and you think it'd be fun to do something around here at school, you can find me anytime. Ask me questions, send me an email, send me a Schoology message. We just want you to get involved. It's a great way to make sure that you are part of the Apple Valley experience and it's a great way to enrich your Eagle Pride. We're so glad that you're all here at Apple Valley High School this year. This is going to be a great school year. Looking forward to working with all of you. Thanks. Thank you.